hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and i would like to thank all of you that we are now a family of 415 members and thanks for all the love support comments likes and everything okay and this is my cat he is also thanking you all for this uh, milestone okay and one more thing uh, solution of today's question is uh, was mostly done by one of my student his name is Sagnik Mojumdar. He is a very bright student, and this solution, uh, I can say that 95% of the solution was done by him only. So I am basically featuring his uh, techniques. Fine. So in this question, we have a stick AB of length L stands vertically on a horizontal floor leaning on a wall. A beetle P climbing the stick from the floor when the beetle starts climbing the lower end B is made to move from the wall with a constant velocity v so this point is moving towards right with a constant velocity v the beetle climbs the stick with a constant speed u relative to the stick okay so this beetle is moving with a speed u with re with respect to the stick if the upper end a does not leave the wall what maximum height can the beetle rise okay first let us analyze the situation here so at t equals to 0 uh, the rod would look something like this. The beetle was standing here. Now the beetle starts climbing the rod. Uh, actually, it is trying to reach the other end of the rod with a constant speed u with respect to the rod and the end at the lower end also moving towards right with a constant speed v. So after some time, it will make an angle theta with the horizontal and this would look the, uh, this would the situation after some time t and it will go on and on until and unless the rod becomes totally horizontal now one more thing when the rod becomes totally horizontal that does not guarantee so I, here i have drawn the diagram when the rod becomes totally horizontal that does not guarantee that the beetle will reach the other end of the rod okay there might be some gap between the end a and, and the beetle fine now when a person standing on the ground if he starts to observe the beetle he would uh, see the trajectory uh, something like this uh, this diagram is not to scale uh, but he will observe that the beetle first reaches a highest point then it comes down towards the ground now one more thing this trajectory is only possible if the beetle uh, does not reach the other end of the rod before it the rod becomes horizontal that means this path is only this trajectory of the beetle is only possible that uh, if the rod becomes horizontal before the beetle reaches the other end okay and now whether it will reach the other end before the rod becomes horizontal or not that totally depends on the speed of the beetle that is the value of u and v okay now one more thing uh, what happens uh, if the value of u is such that the particle p reaches the other end of the rod before it reaches the maximum of the trajectory okay now there might happen that the speed value of u is such that the particle or the beetle reaches the other end of the rod before the rod becomes uh, horizontal that means uh, the rod uh, sorry that means the particle does not travel this whole path uh, I mean the particle terminates its motion or reaches the point A before reaching the highest point okay fine in that situation the height of point A will itself be the height of the beetle or the particle P okay now let us check once suppose at any time T the rod is inclined by an angle theta and the rod reaches or travels a distance upwards by an amount ut and this point this point b travels by a distance vt fine so sine theta is h by ut cos theta is vt by l from the diagram so we'll we have h equals to ut sine theta replacing the value of t from the second equation and placing it here so we have h as a function of theta now if h is only increasing with theta okay that means uh, the particle does not 
crosses this highest point so we are interested till this region only okay till this region of the trajectory and when uh, and strictly the h is only increasing okay because we have considered that the value of u is such that that means uh, that means the value of u is greater than v by such an amount that it reaches the other end a before it completes this motion okay this motion fine so we have this one now if h is only increasing with theta dh d theta must be greater than 0 so we have cos 2 theta greater than 0 we have theta less than 45 degree fine so now as we have discussed that in this situation the height of the end a will also be the maximum height of the particle okay because the particle is unable to complete its whole trajectory or at least it is not reaching its highest point that was discussed in this diagram fine so we have l cos theta equals to vt so this length is vt and ut equals to l so from here we will get t equals to l divided by u we will put the value here so we have cos theta is this one so this is the maximum height of the particle in this situation okay this is the h max so that is l square minus this one square so this one is v times t and t is l by u so we have just put the values here in this equation so this is the maximum height so when this maximum height will take place if v by u is less than cos 45 that is v by u is less than 1 by root 2 and u is greater than root 2 v so if the speed of the particle with respect to the rod is greater than root 2 v then it will reach the point a before it completes its actual trajectory or before it reaches the highest point of the actual trajectory observed by a person standing on the ground okay so this is one answer so our second answer would be the situation where the value of u is less than root 2 v okay so if the particle travels the total trajectory that we have drawn the trajectory there if the particle actually travels that whole trajectory that means theta is greater than 45 that is u is less than root 2 v that in that case we can just uh, simply take this basic maximum minimum method so for some given value of theta h will be maximum okay so dht theta will be 0 uh, recalling the value of h here so we have ul by v cos 2 theta equals 0 so cos 2 theta equals to 0 that means 2 theta equals to 90 degree theta equals to 45 degree just put the value here we will get the value of h max so this h max is possible if value of u is less than root 2 v fine okay so this was a little bit tricky question but uh, not so difficult i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative sorry for making this video a little bit longer than usual but uh, anyways see you in the next one peace